Well, hello everyone. We are starting off a weekend vlog. Carrie's actually wearing a Niners shirt. Cause we're going to the game. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I mean, I love going to sports games, although I'm not like that into sports TV. I'll watch the end of the game. I cannot sit that long, but at a game, it's just, there's so much energy and everything. Yeah. It's really fun. We also have something else going on today that unfortunately we're gonna miss. Be well, maybe we'll get back for the very end but we got these tickets right as the timing was being announced, but Lindsay is in a play today. There's two showings. Um, she has a really big solo and it's gonna be amazing. And we're so proud of her, but I, I don't think we're gonna get back in time, which is so, so hard as a parent. She is being super sweet about it. Part of our day today is going to be trying to get back. I mean, the timing <laughs> That's would That's part work. of the adventure. The, part, <laughs> the timing would actually work, except for the fact that there's gonna be so much traffic getting out of Levi Stadium, which is about, an hour and a half from here if there was no traffic. Fingers crossed we'll be able to make it for her big solo. We're gonna do our best and still have try to have fun with <laughs> the game. Yeah, we're gonna have a great time yeah. and I know she's gonna have a great time in her play. A lot of family's gonna go see her. All right, we're gonna head Let's out now. Let's get going. Kaya wants to show you her cute scarf. She went to the groomer she yesterday. She got groomed yesterday and she got this pretty little Christmas scarf and she just was like, Dad, get your hands off me. Come here, Kaya. I'm sorry, we're not gonna go for a walk. Oh, I shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> she knows that word. Sorry, Kaya. <laughs> now she's all excited. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. You ready to go? Yeah, All right. Let's go. We're about to leave and I still can't get over the size of this tree. It's a nine foot tree. I think it's the perfect size for in here. If we got the 12 foot, it would be like touching the ceiling. Alyssa is chilling, she's hanging out here. What are you making? It's called diamond painting or diamond art and like basically I place, um, one of these little things down at a time. It's like color by number, kind of. Those like beads or what? Um, kind of. You just, but it's a sticky surface. Well, it looks really cool. It looks like it takes a lot of patience. It does. Well, that's you when it comes to artistic stuff. We just got to Santa Clara, we're right outside the stadium. We're in one of the designated parking lot areas. We actually also have tickets to do the red zone party. I think that's what it's called before the game. Yeah. So we're here early. It's like 10, a little after 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go into the Great America like red zone party area. We can do like a roller coaster and there's food and drinks in there. I'm looking forward to that. Just got here at the Red Zone Rally and there is all kinds of food. You can get domestic beer and like tap beer for free. And there's other drinks you can get that are not included. All the food here is included. It's an extra paid thing here uh, at Niners games. But oh my gosh, they have like a meat carving station. This looks so good. We're having a lot of fun so far here at the Red Zone Rally. We had a lot of food. Oh, oh my gosh. We got a hug from Snoopy. I'm I didn't sorry. get a high five. I got denied twice. I, I, I didn't get a high five and I didn't get my second hug. He didn't see me, I think. No, he saw you. Oh, he just rejected me. Yeah. <laughs> right here, they got burgers and brisket. How did we miss the brisket? Oh my gosh. Well, I had some really good brisket in Texas this last week on a work trip, which was probably better than what they have here, but still they have so many food options here. We also had churros, so much to eat. This is a lot of fun. Right now we're actually walking into Great America. We haven't been to Great America since, yeah, Carrie just said we were dating. Yeah, we used to come here a lot. We have season passes and <laughs> it's been so long. It's One thing that you can do here at the Red Zone Rally is you can ride flight deck back in our day Back in our day. Back in our day. We, uh, it was called Top Gun. There's no line. <laughs> this is awesome.
We just got off Top Gun. I ended up getting some brisket right before we head in. The great thing about the Red Zone Rally, I don't think you need to get food in the stadium when you come here. The stadium food is expensive, so I, I've got a feeling this is worth it. Top Gun was so much fun. Blast from the past. All the vibes from like when we were in high school and college. We left the Red Zone Rally. It was so much fun. I think it was worth it. I don't know how much it cost. Well, we, I don't think we, the way we got here, we have friends that invited us uh, through their company. We got special tickets. So I, I think it was included. The food you got, doing the roller coaster, it was fun. We could have gotten two free drinks, but we didn't get them because the beer was like yucky beer. It was domestic beer, like Michelob Light, Coors Light, which we're not into that. So. <laughs> but you also can get wine, yeah. but you can if you want. And you can pay extra for like cocktails or craft beer. We are headed into the stadium. The game is going to start in about an hour or 45 minutes or so. I'm pumped. It is four o'clock. We're leaving the game. I have hope. And the game's not over yet. It's almost over. We are in like I am seconds. so against doing this. Yes. I never want to leave a game early, but as Carrie said earlier, Lindsay has her show. Probably the biggest solo she's ever had. Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas song. Yeah, she got the solo of that. Really want to see it. Watching the uh, game, I got to get back to that, but want to check in. Game so far was so much fun. Really good game. And we had a lot of fun with our friends. And with the guy you were sitting next to that you and didn't make best friends with. The guy <laughs> next to me was like, he took over my seat when I left. He needed extra room. Uh, like, Holy spread. Yeah. <laughs> Here's hoping we hit the road and avoid a lot of the traffic of people leaving. We might make it on time. But our friends are really gracious. Hi, guys. <laughs> they were super okay with us leaving a little early. Well, that's what they said. That's what they tell us. <laughs> Anyways, let's go find the car. Yeah, let's get going. We made it back in the car. I'm looking at the time we should arrive in Modesto and it says 5.50. Lindsay's show starts at 6 o'clock. I've lost most of my voice. It was a good game. It looks like we're going to make it to Lindsay's show on time. It's such a good time. This is our friends, uh, Amanda, Robert. As we left the game, a crazy like fight brouhaha happened on the field and we missed it. We watched it on my phone as it was happening or maybe like a minute after it was happening, but it was a little bit crazy. Kind of bummed we missed it, but at the same time, Niners still won. Well, Lindsay did it again. She beat me. Actually, I wasn't even thinking about it. It was like 5.01 and she sent me all the cookies for Crumble this week and finished it off with a nice bam. Good job, Lindsay. You won this week. We made it back. You can see the theater behind us with the neon lights all lit up. It is 546. We got 15 minutes before the show starts. It's amazing. So we're super excited to see Lindsay's show and really glad to be home. We made it in the theater. This is Carrie's mom next to me. <laughs> Carrie got a seat actually a little closer. So excited we got here early before the show starts. Can't wait to see Lindsay perform. We made it home. Ted and Nancy, Carrie's mom and her husband, have not watched the game yet because they've been carting Lindsay around all day. I won't say anything. They haven't they haven't seen the game yet, but we're here at home. Lindsay is here. Good job on the show, Lindsay. She's lots of snow in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making it so on her couch. We'll check in with her later to ask her how she felt like she did. She did amazing. It was so much fun. She did absolutely. Oh, she can I, sing. It, it brought she tears to my sing. eyes. It was so, it was so amazing. Carrie and I are going to watch the game a second time on TiVo. Well, we're still watching the Niners game in the other room, but Alyssa is still working on, what. what's this called again? 
Diamond painting. Diamond painting. You having fun with it? Yeah. Cool. And you were just watching Indiana Jones. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. This is the progress so far. It's come along really good. You've been doing this all day. A little, kind of, yeah. It's like sunflowers and butterflies. It's really pretty. Yeah. Good job. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm out with Kaya for a walk before I start work for the day. Last week was a long, long week for everyone in our family. We celebrate Advent uh, typically, but this year has looked very different for us. So the last couple weeks have been so busy since Thanksgiving, we haven't really had a chance to slow down, which I think we're feeling as a family right now. We are going to be looking forward to slowing down this week. We uh, didn't do a video this last weekend because I was out of California all week. I was in Texas uh, doing a training uh, for my work. When those kind of weeks happen, we end up just choosing to figure out what we can let go of. And for YouTube, that's one of those things. That's just part of fighting balance in life, right? Okay, and I just got back to the house and I got to uh, take a quick shower before I get started with work for the day. But I want to show you something else we added to our front yard for Christmas decoration. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We put up the nativity set that I put up on our lawn each year. It actually, it's really cool. It lights up. I love how it highlights the reason that we celebrate Christmas and that's the birth of Jesus. It, we, we love this. Well, happy Monday. Is Monday ever happy? I don't know. Uh, let us know if you love Mondays. <laughs> it's, it's happy at this point because it's almost over. Long day today. Uh, I had a lot of work to catch up on uh, since I was gone all week last week in Texas. Uh, and then I was not feeling good on Friday. Carrie is making some homemade hot chocolate right behind me. We are gearing up to watch a Christmas movie tonight. It's been a very busy week and we're all in need of a, just a relaxing night. A few years ago, when we met my mom up in Tahoe, she made the most delicious hot chocolate and it was with milk and like a shaved Hershey's bar. I don't remember what else, but I lost that recipe. It was good. And I don't have any Hershey's bars, so I googled um, hot chocolate with chocolate chip. Cocoa powder and some sugar and some milk, and Yum. then we're gonna stir it with some candy cane, so I think it's gonna be really yummy. I'm actually having a, um, like a little party with my Bible study ladies tomorrow, so we're having like a breakfast party. I thought I'd make a big thing of hot chocolate for when they come over too, so I'm kind of experimenting on my we're, we're a beta test. But I don't think they mind, right? I don't mind being tested on. Right. I didn't think so. <laughs> we, have we nailed down what movie we're watching tonight? Well, I think we'll probably watch Elf. Fun fact, you might know Elf. This is the 20 year anniversary of Elf. And Chris and I on our first date went to go see Elf. So we've been dating for 20 years. We, yeah, our first date was <laughs> over 20 years ago now. Cause it was like December and 1st 18 or 18 of those years. We've also been married. That's true. It's always fun to watch Elf and remember our first date. Although, there's a few years I didn't really want to watch Elf very much because I was substitute teaching a lot and towards the end of December, uh, teachers were showing that movie in their class all the time. I got really tired of it, but I'm yeah. back to liking it again. That's good. I like that movie. Yeah. We also have a fire in the fireplace and Kai is living her best life right now. <laughs> Alyssa is filling in. She's subbing for Lindsay because Lindsay is in the math zone. She's working hard to, I know, doesn't sound pleasant but she's working hard to uh, make some notes for her math final in a couple days. She said she's in the zone, so I don't want to stop her, but I'm excited about this hot chocolate. Let me get this candy cane and wrapped. These are the content you're here to watch. The unwrapping I of candy did it canes. I one. <laughs> okay, try. All right, that one's yours. Here's Alyssa's stitch cup. Lindsay has her Mickey waffle cup. Mine is a Christmas story mug, the best Christmas movie ever made. It's true. It is the best Christmas movie. We always watch it on Christmas Eve every year, just the four of us. I think those are my favorite uh, Christmas movies are Christmas Story, Elf, Home Alone. Home Alone 1 and 2, but Home Alone 2 is better than 1, yeah. I think. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I can't really do top three. I just, those are my top two favorites. The other ones are all tied equally. What about you, Alyssa? What's your favorite, like, top two or three Christmas movies? I really like uh, Home Alone, both of them. Do you have one you like more than the other? Uh, probably Home Alone 2. Yeah. I like the um, animated Grinch, the, not the really, really old one, but like the 2018 one, I think. The one with Benedict Cumberbatch in it? Uh, yeah. And then I also like uh, Santa Claus. This is like the Santa Claus, like Tim Allen? Yeah. Yeah. That one's a, that one's a classic. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you have to get some. You're, I hope it's you're enjoying like the- a melted chocolate bar. I hope you're enjoying the ambience of drinking freshly made hot chocolate with popcorn popping in the background. 
And that's what it looks like right now. I cannot wait. We will include the recipe in the description of this video and you can try it because this video is coming out before Christmas. So feel free to make this at your next family Christmas gathering. Oh fudge, that's so good. Sorry, it says oh fudge on my cup, I had to. Is that inappropriate? I don't know. But it's so good because it's chocolatey, it's creamy, it's, it's rich, it it's pepperminty. Made with love. And made with love. Well, we wanted to show you guys a few things you have sent us. Uh, while Carrie continues to uh, consume her enjoyable hot cocoa. We did not do a Christmas card exchange this year. We loved doing it last year, uh, but we've had such a busy season. We had to say no to a few things, and unfortunately that was one of them that we had to say no to. So we didn't give you guys a heads up on that, sorry. But a few of you sent us cards and even a package, which we're so thankful for. You don't need to, but it's so oh, cool. Oh, okay. Carl, Tammy, and Carl. Oh, great. And they have pictures at Disneyland. I don't know if we can show the pictures though. So. Yeah, let, we won't show the pictures. This is the uh, the Can family. I definitely recognize them. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sending that. And we have Kimberly Robinson. Cute little kitty and puppy. Oh, we can show that. Yeah. Wishing for a warm and cuddly Christmas. Love the Robinsons. They're from Texas. Very cool. So nice of people to uh, think of sending us cards. A few people are asking me about our PO box and I always have to look it up. But I think that's Rob and Sandy. This is the Carters. The Carters, yeah. yes. Rob, Sandy, Dyson, and Adeline. Thank that's you, Carters, cool. for sending like that they to were us. In, looks like the Grand Canyon. That's oh awesome. boy, yeah, they love traveling. I want to go there again. I haven't been there since I was a kid. This one is oh from from the Pettits. We met them on the cruise, and you actually went to high school with Gary. Didn't but, know it at the time. Didn't know him when you were. But we met them on the viewer cruise this last year and had a great time getting to know them. And yeah, we found out we went to the. The same high school. These are really nice pictures. So thank right. you guys for saying those. Yeah, and the uh, Payet sent us a package. Layton and, and Karen? Yes, they live in Hawaii, and when we went on the viewer cruise, they gave us the sweetest gifts. And when I told the girls who it was from, they're like, did they send us more pineapple gummies? I'm like, I don't know, I guess we'll see. I actually found some of those in Vegas when I, I was there recently. Oh my gosh, Oh so my. Sweet goodness wow oh, oh yummy remember our friends karen and layton they gave us the pineapple gummies, pineapple gummies. Oh, oh pineapple gummies wow. oh thank you guys so much oh my gosh <gasps> macadamia nuts Ooh. there's two things of them <laughs> you know what language speaks to our hearts is yummy snacky food yes sure <laughs> especially from hawaii oh, she says or they say feel free to share our card on your vlog if you wish oh that's sweet and they're seasoned vets yeah. at this. Cute little <laughs> sticker. I think we were maybe anticipating that we were gonna get, do a card exchange, but aw. Oh, they've got their dogs on there. How cute. Oh, Lindsay's, did you hear we say uh, pineapple gummies? Is that what you can No, do? she heard the. Um, Lindsay, are you okay? She just came downstairs with a crazed look on her face. Did you get- Guess what week it is. Finals week. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Don't take algebra too, guys. The Payettes, <laughs> our friends from Hawaii, Pineapple sent us. Gummies. Yeah. And macadamia nuts. Hey, I wish I could have you guys smell. Take the a gummies. smell. Take they a smell. Smell it. We're turning no. smell vision on. They smell just, just like pineapple. Mm. Thank you guys so, so much. Macadamia popcorn crunch. <laughs> Hawaiian paradise coffee. Oh my gosh. I'm making that tomorrow. <laughs> No, Ooh. Like Island Princess. Ooh, macadamia nuts in all different flavors. Ooh. What? Uh oh, Carrie, what? Chocolate covered pineapple gummy bears. What? <laughs> okay. Are you kidding? Give me that. one. Give me one. Give me. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh my goodness. You I guys you said <laughs> way too so much. Thank you. And cho more chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. oh, those are good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, those are good. Those are really good. That's amazing. I, I love chocolate covered chunks of pineapple and this is, that reminds me of that. Karen and Layton, you guys are so generous. That is so, so sweet of you. Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. This is so fun and delicious. Oh. We're just thankful. Right, Lindsay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I just put all those cards up on our card holder that we get when we get uh, cards from family, friends, loved ones. It's just fun seeing that already filling up. Can't wait for this to fill up. It will fill up within probably, well, a couple weeks because today it's two weeks from Christmas. So this will be filled very soon. Just a few more decorations that <laughs> I didn't show yet that we did put out. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto riding a sled with uh, Pluto pulling them. And you got Mickey down there holding a bunch of packages. And you got Pluto down there with a snowman. I ended up deciding to put up our Christmas Story Snow Village. I love this display. It's from Department 56. That's who makes these things. It's not even everything they make for it. There's some stuff that they don't even make anymore that's insanely expensive on eBay. So I'm not gonna touch that, but I love this display. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's been a good day. You were able to get stuff done, ready for, to get ready for finals. Mostly. That's cool. As soon as she came home, wanted to make brownies, and she saw a whole like cup of peppermint candy canes. Oh, and there's still some left. I used more, ones that were a lot more crushed than this, but. Well, let me show you these brownies. They look amazing. They smell amazing. Whoa, they do. I'm a genius, guys. I, I walked, <laughs> and humble, uh, I walked into the house and it just smelled heavenly and you said there was still a little gooey inside a little bit yeah i don't usually love it when it's super gooey oh i love gooey brownies it looks like mm, oh, it looks good sweet. job thank you thank you for sacrificing your time and energy to make these you're welcome i'm guessing you're gonna share them with us some if i'm feeling nice but you usually are <laughs> so is this make your own dinner tonight carrie said she's making eggs bacon and what yeah, Ooh, oh biscuits God. Yes, we have biscuits right here. Carrie made for a party where she had a lot of people. I tell you about what I did to the biscuits. Oh no. I watched a couple videos about how to make the perfect biscuits. From scratch. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. So I put the butter in the freezer and I used the cheese grater to grate the butter. And then I incorporated it perfectly with the flour and the baking powder and the salt and it was all crumbly because it says if you do that you'll get perfect layers. And I, I was trying out the special hot chocolate recipe and... And you made that again this morning. I was going to make that again this morning. So in my mind I had four cups of milk in my head because that's how much I milk I put in the hot chocolate last night. And I paid super close attention to my recipe for the biscuits but I didn't look at the amount of milk. I just thought four cups and I only needed a cup and a half. So I poured all this milk in my biscuit mixture and I had this giant puddle and I almost started crying. One of my friends went to the store and bought some canned biscuits, but I also added a whole bunch of flour to the mixture and made these. And if you put a whole bunch of jam and butter on them, they still taste good. But the hot chocolate turned out good and a bunch of people had, since we have an espresso machine, I made a, I made a mocha for a bunch of people. That was Ooh, tasty too. That sounds good. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. We had a good time. Well, those are nice flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the show that you were in on Sunday night. Oh, well, Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. You had two shows. Oh, the show that we did was called Christmas Town. The parts I was in. Um, so everyone's in the opener, which is like the opening song. Um, and then there was the girls number that junior high and high school girls could participate in if they wanted to. It was All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey and it had a solo in it, it was really fun. And then like, like it's the intro and like the bridge of the song is what I did and then... You did a really good job. And we'd love to show it to you but we can't kind of because illegal. copyright, we get tagged or flagged on our account unless we get Mariah Carey's permission, but we didn't. And then there's the high school number which is the song that all the high schoolers do. Uh, it's really fun. It is like, it's called Coffee in a Cardboard Cup. It's, it's a really fun number. Yeah. And then there's a closer, which everyone is in. It's the closing. I think this actually might be, this might have been my last CSK show because I'm going to be really busy these next like semesters and years. Your life is getting a little more complicated each year with, now you're going for your license <laughs> and you got challenging subjects, but I think you're doing a good job. You're handling it. We got a final, so we'll, we'll see how I... We planned to come back on here last night and we got distracted by, you know, watching Christmas movies and hanging out and just being yeah. really tired. I figured though, this is a good spot to end the vlog since I think it's where we started the vlog. It is. Yeah, so it's like a nice full circle experience. Sure, we got our coffees here. It's midday, I need to get back to work. At my uh, site today, doing a presentation. Came back home, picked up both girls. Carrie, also, how you finished finals today. 
Well, I finished <clears throat> administering them. Yes. But I have lots and lots to grade. Yes. Lots and lots to grade. Oh my goodness. That's why I need the coffee. So we said we were going to tell you about some of our upcoming plans and we never got to that. So that's what we're going to do now. Last night, uh, Carrie mentioned we watched a movie. We were watching Grinch, the... Jim Carrey one. Jim Carrey Grinch. We're watching that because we're going somewhere this weekend that is celebrating Grinchmas. Mm -hmm. We are going to... Universal Studios Hollywood. So we are headed down this weekend yeah. and we have a few things we're going to do down there. Um, we're really excited. We haven't been to Universal Hollywood since the girls were little and before they were really even into Harry Potter. Yeah. Of course, we went to Florida like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And they loved that and Harry Potter, everything. Should we tell them the exciting thing we're doing Let's at Universal? Let's keep that a surprise. Okay, there's something really exciting we're doing at Universal that I am so excited about. Yeah, me like, too. I'm almost more excited than going to Universal in Florida because of the experience we're gonna have. It yeah. is, here's your cliffhanger. Along with uh, Universal Studios, we are also gonna do the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Yeah. We're gonna go to City Walk. We're gonna just yeah. explore the area around Burbank. I think. Yeah. yeah. We haven't done that since they were little. And then we also wanted to tell you about some other upcoming travel plans. Yeah. That we're really excited about. So after Christmas, we are going to Cabo San Lucas. Yep. One of the reasons we're excited to go to Cabo is when we were on the Disney Wonder on our first cruise, it was right after cruising had opened up. Alyssa was too young to be vaccinated, so she could not get off the ship. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful view. And she was like, I want to go there so bad. So I'm excited that we yep. get to go and show them and go to lots of yummy restaurants and do, we have a lot of fun things planned. Yeah, yeah, we have a number of uh, fun excursion-y things planned while we're there. And we're staying right in like the Cabo San Lucas area. Yeah. So we did, we've never done that. Yeah, we stayed in San Jose del Cabo last time. Yeah, so excited about all those things coming up and we can't wait to share all those vlogs and adventures with you guys so that's it for this vlog we are so thankful for you thank you for the, taking the time to watch and share in some of our life with us next video you guys will see i think is going to be our time at universal studios yeah we hope you're having a great christmas season merry christmas and thanks for watching yep take care love you guys bye bye